Hey guys, welcome to Cowie Performance. Today we're going to discuss two brand new products that we have, but first we're going to give you some details on some cylinders and how they changed over time and why we're making the kits that we make for your machine. First off, here is our Ultra 250 cylinder. It is Kawasaki's flagship supercharged machine. You can see here the cooling port is all the way down here, which means this cylinder has a really deep cooling jacket and it gets significant water flow so it cools the cylinders. The only problem with this is it actually cooled too much and there was a lot of gas in the oil and a lot of issues with that. So Kawasaki had to come up with a solution on the future models to compensate for that. But one thing they did on this machine to help with that, which they did on the 260, is they put a check valve on the water box where this feeds to. So if you have an 07 or 08 machine, you can actually put a check valve on the water box, which will keep the cylinders a bit hotter and keep the fuel out of the oil. Since Kawasaki used the deep cooling jackets on the Ultra 250, when they devised the 300 cylinder, they actually went with really shallow cooling jackets, which actually only go down to here, if you can see that. And there's actually no water port on the side here. But the problem with the 300 that they realized is during the hot months, July, August, or wherever you're located, when the temperatures were really hot, you would lose speed because the cylinder would heat soak and there's not enough water in here to keep the cylinder cooled enough during those months. So now on the Ultra 310, they used what they knew on the Ultra 250 and the Ultra 300 to design this awesome cylinder that we have here. So as you can see, the water port is here. The cooling jackets are actually just as deep as the Ultra 250. It's actually based off the Ultra 250. And they didn't want the heat soak issue like they had on the 300. And they didn't want the fuel in the oil situation they had on the 250. So what they did is they rerouted the cooling system and also put a check valve here to keep water in the cylinders during wide open throttle so that you would have sufficient cooling yet it would be warm enough to boil off all the fuel and everything that would get in the oil. Really, really cool design here. So if you're upgrading to the 310 cylinder, this is gonna be the kit here that you're gonna be purchasing. It's all the hoses you need. It's the T that you need, all the clamps that you need, the check valve that you need. There's a screw here that goes on this mount here to hold the hose off from the supercharger pulley. Otherwise, the supercharger pulley will chew through the hose and you will have a very serious problem on your hands. So that's the screw, the mount, and the zip tie for that. If you're going to be utilizing your 300 cylinder, the only difference is the drill and the tap. And you're gonna have to drill and tap and everything gets installed like the 310 cylinder. Stay tuned for one of our future episodes. We're actually gonna be installing this kit on an Ultra 300. We're gonna drill, we're gonna tap, and we're gonna route everything. So you'll see how that goes together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you later.